Hello, brothers and sisters in the faith of Jesus. Just wanted to get on here and um, let you know about, about a dream I woke up out of this morning. But prior to that dream, the, the previous past few days, I've been saying to King Jesus, the first thing I want to do, when you take us up there, is bow the knee in front of you and confess with my tongue. So this morning, waking up out of my dream, since I was raised Catholic, I do have a love for the church buildings and the Catholics weren't always as corrupt as they are now. So by all means, I do not recommend going there. But the cathedrals were, were something to be admired in the reverence that used to be in them. And I especially like the quietness of a place to pray, which isn't anymore, and not in any church, I don't think. <laughs> now, besides your church at home, could be why he f everyone's forced to do this also, so they'll pay more attention to him get in their quiet place with him and pray and praise. Um, but when you go into that church, you used to do what they called genuflect, which is what we were taught to do. And when you come up to the end of a seat where you want to sit down, we would always bow the knee and do the sign of the cross before we entered the pew and went in and sat down. Well, my dream this morning was of me doing that and looking up to the cross of Jesus crucified as I was doing it and then entering into the pew to sit down. I didn't, I woke up as I was going to sit down and it was just that little tiny short dream and it was in color too. So it just gave me the feeling that it's not going to be very long before I do get that privilege to honor him and thank him for everything he has brought me through in this world to then take me up to his kingdom wherein dwelleth God's righteousness forever in all of us who submit to him and obey. See you up yonder, Lord willing, the Lord's Carpentress will be back with another video. I'm refining some songs with him, some fresh ones that he's given me and um, They're very comforting to me, and I'm hoping they will be comforting to you as well. Love you.